Here are the items you'll need to complete the nature paper craft. First, you'll need your nature paper. Be sure to wait to take this out until you are ready to do the craft. This paper changes color in the sun. Next, you'll need water. You can keep your water inside in a shaded area. Next, you'll need to go out and collect some different pieces of nature to put on your paper. This could be leaves, pine cones, or twigs. When we're finished with these items, we can return them back to nature. Next, you'll also want push pins or tape to hold your nature paper down. If it's a windy day out, plastic wrap could be helpful as well. All right, we're ready to get started. So we are going to be doing a really fun craft using nature paper. Nature paper is a dark blue piece of paper, but it fades when you put it out in the sun. So it's really important to not take your paper out until you are ready to go. What you'll need to be ready are some different pieces of nature. I went out and collected a pine cone, two pine cones, a couple of twigs, I really liked this one because of its Y shape and a couple of leaves. So once you have your items, you can go ahead and get your piece of paper out. Once you have your paper out, you're going to want to move quickly. So you're going to put your different items on your paper. And if it's a little windy, you might need an extra set of hands to hold your paper down. And maybe I'll put another twig here. And then I have a little piece of plastic to hold my items in place. But if you don't have plastic, you can use something like saran wrap. So now we wait. As we watch our dark blue paper, it'll start to fade to a really light, light blue. And that's when we know it's done. So we'll check back in when our paper has faded. Awesome. As you can see, our paper has faded to be almost a white color. It's like magic. So now we can go ahead and take the plastic off of the top of our items and just dump our items off. We can see that the sun has left behind the imprint of our items. So now we're gonna take this inside and soak it in water. You're gonna soak your paper in the water for about one minute and then lay it flat to dry. Once your paper's dry, it might look something like this. I think it's pretty cool to see how our paper turned back to a dark blue color and now our items are left in a white, light blue color. What's your favorite item on the paper? I would have to say mine is the leaf. I love all of the different details that are left behind and just think it looks really neat.